from the blissful collections at Cartier Fashion Week in Paris to a revival beauty trick inspired by supermodel Twiggy. There's a lot to fall in love with on today's edition of the Fashback. Joining us on our couch are the beautiful ladies, starting with Alexis Shafeme, Margot Knapper, and Akila Haran Ali. Good morning, Hi. ladies. Hi. Okay, so I need to talk about spring summer 2017's Cartier Fashion Week. Mm. Akila, yeah. Alexis, mm. what mm. went down? Everything. Oh. Everything. Everything. <laughs> but you know, there's been so much debate around the fashion calendar recently around the relevance of runway fashion for the customer on the street. Yeah. But I felt this week that Couture Fashion Week, they laid it down. Did there they lay it down? There will always be a place for couture for, in our hearts yes. because it's an elevated art form. You know, mm -hmm. it's taking incredible clothes, handcrafted detail, yeah. you know, meticulous design, and it's, they're really, they're artists. These, you know, these old, iconic fashion houses, they're artists, it and really this is just is walking art. It really is art, though. It's glorious, that's all I can say. I mean, I haven't seen collections this good in like a really long time. Yeah. Couture Week is always better than any of the other fashion weeks. It's yeah. always a feast for the eyes. But I just think that the designers have done so exceptionally well this season. Yeah. I mean, I haven't been this glued to my computer, you know, checking for updates yeah. every five minutes yeah. to see yeah, what's the latest. Definitely up the ante. And the evening wear was just on another level. So I Very have good. extremely high expectations for awards season. No yeah. one is allowed to get yeah. it wrong. I know, no, no one is allowed. You have no excuses Because <laughs> that's where you see the couture yeah. come to life, yeah. actually through the awards. Yeah, so. I think the Academy so Awards excited. is definitely yeah. going to be a big one as well. People must be really, really excited. Margot, I'm really, really really excited about what's happening on your face, girl, because you have a very interesting beauty trend going on there. Can we get a, gl a close up on Margot's face right now? I'm so what's into happening? it. We have to talk about this trend. No, we this do. is the docked <laughs> eyeliner trend. Yeah. And Twiggy, as you mentioned, was wearing it in the 60s. And it's taken this long to come onto the runways and onto Emma Roberts and Zoe Kravitz's face recently. Yay! Wow. And what's cool about this is it's like an update on the bold, like the, the liquid liner trend. Yeah. So if you're feeling a little bit experimental, you want to just take it up a notch, mm -hmm. it's the easiest thing to do. Oh. All you have to do is stick a cotton bud uh -huh. into a pot of liquid liner yeah. and dot it underneath your eyes. It's so super simple and it draws attention to your eyes. I mean, as you guys have, of have course, said. Yeah. And of course. It's just, it's really fun. And I mean, I wouldn't recommend this for every day, but I think for a party or you want to make yeah. a bit of a statement, because I'm sure if you were wearing office. it every day in the office, it would be like, yeah. okay, you yeah. need to stop now. A little odd. Yeah. Maybe for Fashion Week. I think, yeah. I, do it. I, I think, think so. Extra. If you're an eye girl, this is, yeah. this is the next step. <laughs> okay, and anyone can do it. Yeah. Lovely. I love that. Is that all we have for today? That's yeah. it. Wow, you guys are just <laughs> leaving us wanting more and more and more. Well, then in that case, we'll do it again on Friday, same time, same place. Thank you, ladies, for joining me today. Thank you for having oh, us. The Fash Pack back next week, same time, same place, talking all things fashion, gossip, and and entertainment.